Welcome back to Let's Play Back to Future Game. I'm New Games, and let's continue. <sighs> now I'll put it as loading because I want to show you a cool thing that happens when you load a game. Wednesday, May 14th, 1986. There we go. I just kind of find that cool. Let's have a look what's in the lorry, eh? Don't touch your mouth, you know how cold it's going to be. You know how cold it's going to be, Marty? Einstein! Where do you come from, boy? Didn't you bring Doc with you? So where, Marty? It's probably when. Ah, just one thing I like to point out. I like the fact that if you notice the little alarm clock on the front of the DeLorean, there is actually from Back to the Future Three. The same alarm clock they're using to try and I think it was gauged when they was it now was it gauge the gauge when the fuel things were going to explode. And oh no, it wasn't the third one. It was the first one, wasn't it? With the alarm clock. Trying to work it off. There's a lot of little hidden things in it, you, you know, it's... Fair enough. All right, last time departed. Last time departed. Uh, oh, jeez. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on. It's just not our day today, Crap. really, is it, folks? Oh, great. How am I supposed to find him now? Well, this could be a clue. Who shoes this? Okay, Doc. I know I haven't seen you in a few months, but I'm pretty sure this isn't your shoe. Uh, let's let's get out of there. I'm not sure I'm a quick golf, thank you very much. Inventory. It's been funny today, folks. Crap, it's. Is it frozen? Please don't tell me it's frozen. Hints. Not put subtitles because it looks horrible. Welcome back to our Let's Play Back to Future Game. I'm Google Games, and let's continue. <sighs> now I'll put it as loading because I want to show you a cool thing that happens when you load a game. Wednesday, May 14th, 1986, there we go. I just kind of find that cool. Let's have a look what's in the lorry, eh? Doc? Don't touch your mouth, you know how cold it's going to be. You know how cold it's going to be, Marty? Einstein! Where do you come from, boy? Didn't you bring Doc with you? Not where, Marty. It's probably when. Ah, just one thing I like to point out. I like the fact that if you notice the little alarm clock on the front of the DeLorean there is actually from 
Back to the Future 3, the same alarm clock they're using to try and, I think it would gauge when they, was it now, was it gauge the, gauge when the fuel things were going to explode and, Oh no, it wasn't the third one, it was the first one, wasn't it? With the alarm clock. I'm trying to know what's set off. There's a lot of little hidden things in it, you notice. Know, it's... Okay, fair enough. Alright, last time departed, last time departed, huh? Oh, jeez. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. It's just not our day today, Crap. really, is it, folks? Oh, great. How am I supposed to find him now? Well, this could be a clue. Whose shoe's this? Okay, Doc, I know I haven't seen you in a few months, but I'm pretty sure this isn't your shoe. Uh, let's, let's get out of there. I'm not sure I'm going to golf and give you a bunch. Inventory. It's been funny today, folks. Crap, it's. It's frozen. Please don't tell me it's frozen. Hints. I'm not putting subtitles because it looks horrible. Ah, oh, there we go. Use mysterious shoe. See if I. No, oh, that. Nah. No, don't blame me, I didn't mean to put the glory. Use a stereo shoe. Right side. See if I can find the shoe. What do you know about this shoe, Aini? Great Scott! I think he's onto something! Sorry I'm a bit sniffle, I've come down for some kind of cold, I think. Uh, I like how they got like the flux capacity for loading as well. It's kinda cool. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. How is this supposed to lead me to Doc, Einie? Who's... Strickland? Could it be? Sir, really? Step away from the door! Ah. Now, let me get a look at you. Einstein, come on! Just as I suspected. Hooligans! Get along now! Scat! What's wrong with you? Uh, I've got something for you. Can you let me in? I've got something to show you. What is it? Let me see. Um. A shoe? Now, now what would I want with a... Huh? <gasps> Well, <laughs> leave that creature outside. Don't call Einstein a creature. It's a, Sorry, Einstein. It's a good dog. Let's see what happens here, then, folks.
Well, took you long enough. Um, there's a lot of stairs. To return the shoe, I mean. I lost it ages ago. You can put it down next to the other one. Mm, much better. So neat and orderly. Yeah, I suppose you'll be wanting some sort of reward now. No, I... All I've got is tea and candy. But... I'm sorry I called you a who again. Picture looks like 50 years old. I try not to jump to conclusions, but after all, nine out of ten people in this city are hooligans. It's a fact. Look it up. Uh... Have a seat, Sonny. Okay, thank you. You seem to be pretty... Pretty nice. Hey! You kids! Put out those cigarettes! Okay. So I've locked in a part with a crazy old lady. Pictures. <laughs> Is that Vice Principal Strickland? Mother never could keep little Gerald out of her clothes. <sighs> Marshall Strickland. My grandfather, gunned down by Mad Dog Tannen over a hundred years ago. That's not how I remember it. No, you should have just received another achievement there. Jeez. Flux oh, and Fade. Got sticks up there. What's that? Nothing. Flux and Fade hit that you'll get from just looking at that Marshall Strickland's photo, which is. Uh, what is it called? Looking faint, I hear the about the curious fate of my Marshall Strickland. Whose papers? Don't touch those. My newspapers are in pristine condition and meticulously organized. Not about to let some street punk get jam all over them. Yeah, I'm not having to clean, and that's not really looks good. It looks like it could fall over any minute. Oh, the candy looks older than I am. <laughs> Man, she keeps it hot in here. That's the kettle. I'll be right back with some tea. Then don't touch anything. Uh, mind if I use your binoculars for a sec? Go ahead, dear. Man, these are powerful. I could see Biff going into the video store. Yeah, you wouldn't believe the filth that boy watches. Yeah, he's nothing but an out-of-control hedonist. Just like his father. But there's a clue to find a doc out there. I'm not seeing it. I don't even know where to start looking. Let's, let's talk to Edna then. Uh, Miss Strickland? Jack! Diane! I know what you're doing behind that tree! Yes? Um, when did you lose your shoe? Remember when you lost your shoe? Shoe? That shoe over there. Oh, that shoe! Hi, <laughs> what a nosy Nelly! No one likes a busybody, you know. I put it back. Oh, fine. Let me think about it. Uh, yes, I remember. I lost it in a scuffle with a, a dog. Oh, when was it? Oh, yes. The day that speakeasy burned down. <laughs> a speakeasy? In Hill Valley? Don't act so surprised, young man. Your generation doesn't hold a copyright on moral depravity, you know. <laughs> Sin has been on the prowl in Hill Valley since the day it was founded. On legal speakeasy? Cool. Wow, speakeasy. That must have been wild. Is it true they used to drink gin out of slippers like my grandma said? 
Don't romanticize the past, young man. Prohibition was a time when gangsters ruled the town but honest citizens quaked in their beds. So where was it? That speakeasy that burnt down, I mean. That was ages ago. If you're looking for bootleg hooch... No, I I'm just curious, that's all. I'm a student of history. Student of history? My Aunt Fanny! Yeah, you generation of hooligans and slackers could give two right things about history. Miss Strickland? A video store! Huh? The speakeasy used to be hidden in plain sight down there in the town square. Right where that disgusting videotape rental store squats today. So the video store building must have gone up after the speakeasy burned down. The following year, as I recall. Doing some stargazing? No, I set my sights on the lower things. Is that... with all these newspapers? This is my personal archive. I've got every issue of the Hill Valley Telegraph ever published. Get out. Every single issue? From 1871 to the present. If it happened in Hill Valley, you'll find it in my stacks. I guess somewhere in these stacks there must be an article about the speakeasy burning down. Naturally. Yeah, I probably wrote it myself. <laughs> I was quite a reporter back in the day. Any idea what date that article came out? Well, obviously the day after the speakeasy burned down. Easy, eh? Don't let me keep you from your business. Jeez, woman, you're my, you mean... Mind if I take a look? Go ahead, dear. <laughs> I like the idea. <laughs> Biff. To your left. So the desk. Rebuilt Re in February 1932. So the fire must have happened before then. But when? I need a date. Don't look at me. I'm far too old for you. Ha ha ha, very funny. Bup, bup, bup. There's the whistle! Go. Surely the water's boiling by now. Damn cold. Sorry about this, folks. Right, let's just... Let's see. Ground broken on site of former speakeasy, singer vanishes, Hill Valley Expo delights crowd, soup kitchen exposed. Here we go. Speakeasy arsonist slain. Legal procedure gave way to old-fashioned vengeance last night when a mob descended on the Hill Valley Police Station. The suspect in the speakeasy arson case, a drifter known as Carl Sagan, was pulled from his... Carl Sagan? Sagan? It's Doc! Killed by a mob. What's the date? June 14th, 1931. Jeez, I gotta rescue him. My newspapers! Sorry, Miss Strickland. Uh, let me... No! You've gotten my history out of order! Oh, do you know how long it'll take to fix what you've done? About an hour? Pretty old lady. At least I got dressed for the part this time. Hmm. 
Marty! Where you been, son? And what are you doing in that getup? <sighs> it's uh, my uniform. Uh, didn't I tell you? I, uh, I got a job. At the Model T factory? Yeah. Uh, n no. Never mind. You don't have to explain. I'm sure whatever it is you're up to, you know what you're doing, right? Thanks, Dad. I hope so. Hey, sometimes you gotta go out on a limb for the ones you love, right? Wish my dad had understood that. You won't stay away too long. You'll barely know I was gone. Thanks. You ready to go, Einstein? Oh, thanks, I get it. Right. Okay, time seconds to be on. Time circuits. Ah, flux capacitor. Uh, fluxy. <laughs> Dead. Okay, if Doc's gonna get killed on June 14th, 1931, I'll just show up the day before and get him out. I hope you know what you're doing, Doc. Would it have been a better option to go back before I got arrested? Here we go, folks. Or exits where nobody can see us. Do 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 May fourteenth, nineteen seven twenty seven PM. Here we go. No, nah, that's just cool. What did we do? Good fatigue. I wonder what you want to do with fatigue. I wonder if wrong, you're supposed to go to 4 o'clock, you're supposed to go to London 7. What? See the car in the future, the young couple coming to a valley expedition. Where'd you go now, boy? Oh, that's so nice. Did we see the same, that same person earlier?
Excuse me, young man. Who? Uh, me? You're the only man in the street, and I'm looking for a man in the street reaction. Naturally, you know about the explosion that destroyed this illegal gin establishment. I read about it, yeah. What's your opinion of Carl Sagan, the stranger who single-handedly did what the law has been unable to do for ten long years, namely, rid Hill Valley of the scourge of liquor? Except it's somewhere uh, else. How'd Doc get himself into... Doc? Doc is his nickname. I'm good friends with Carl. You are? Really? Oh, but I need an unbiased opinion for my story. Pretend you don't know him. How would you feel about his heroic act of destruction? Uh, there's got to be some sort of mistake here. Doc, I mean, uh, uh, Carl wouldn't do something like that. It's surprising the lengths a person will go to when it's a clear-cut matter of right and wrong. You've got an honest look about you. You do support the side of righteousness, I trust. You can mark me down as a supporter. The young man said, flashing a boyish yet virile grin. Hill Valley needs more upstanding youths like yourself. Do you have a message for the vicious gangsters who still roam these streets, no doubt plotting to corrupt our citizens with another den of booze, sin, and debauchery? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna... Yeah, tell them, go ahead, make my day. Make your day what? <laughs> Never mind, I'll play around with it and see if I can come up with something better. Mr... May I get your name? Uh, yeah, it's... Sonny Crockett I'm gonna go with. Sonny Crockett. Thank you for sharing your candid opinions, Mr. Crockett. Edna Strickland, Hill Valley Herald. Edna Strickland, really? I know. I met you back. I mean, I'm familiar with your work. You read my column? How sweet! I know it's just an etiquette column, but I believe it'll lead to bigger and better... Oh! Einstein, no. Down, boy. Is this wretched creature yours? He assaulted me once before. What's got into you? Aggressive dogs must be kept on leash at all times. It's the law. Look it up. Sorry. So what's going to be there, Rusty? Right, before, I'm gonna, before I cut this off, I'm going to show you where one more trophy is. I think it's long here, so where's it gone? Somewhere along the Sabad Soup Kitchen. Where is it now? I know what I'm looking for, I just can't find the place. There it is. Gail, Zemeckis, and Fine. Attorneys at law. <laughs> no solicitors. You should have got, from just like looking at that, you have got Hi Bob. But with that, I'm going to cut it off. I've been Gun Game, folks. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.